The intricacies and capabilities of two of the most powerful intercontinental ballistic missiles has continued to be a source of awe and bewilderment to defense strategists, military personnel, and foreign policymakers. The US's LGM-30G Minuteman III and Russia's Satan II ICBM is right here in focus. These missiles, hailing from two superpowers, are vital cogs in the machinery of global defense strategies. Born in different eras, they represent the pinnacle of their respective countries' military engineering prowess. So buckle up as we dive into a detailed comparison of these two giants of military engineering. First, we turn our attention to the LGM-30G Minuteman III, a marvel of American engineering. An embodiment of technological progress, the Minuteman III is a product of the Cold War era, a time when the United States was locked in a fierce arms race with the Soviet Union. Born in the mid-20th century, the Minuteman III's development was a significant undertaking. The project spanned several decades, with the first missile becoming operational in the early 70s. Since then, the Minuteman III has been a key component of the United States' nuclear arsenal. It's been through numerous upgrades, each one enhancing its capabilities, ensuring it remains a potent and relevant deterrent in today's security landscape. Now let's delve into the specifics of what makes the Minuteman III so impressive. First and foremost, it's fast, really fast. Its speed is measured in Mach, a unit that represents the speed of sound. The Minuteman III can travel at over 20 times the speed of sound. That's faster than a bullet fired from a high-powered rifle. In terms of range, the Minuteman III doesn't disappoint either. This missile can cover a distance of over 6,000 miles. That's enough to reach almost any point on the globe from its launch site in the United States. Precision is also a key attribute of the Minuteman III. It's equipped with an advanced guidance system that allows it to hit targets with remarkable accuracy. Lastly, let's talk about what the Minuteman III carries. Its payload. Each missile is armed with three independently targetable re-entry vehicles, or MIRVs. Each of these MIRVs can carry a nuclear warhead, making the Minuteman III not just a single missile, but a delivery system for multiple devastating payloads. A formidable weapon indeed, the Minuteman III is a testament to American military prowess. It's a symbol of America's determination to maintain peace through strength, a commitment that is as unwavering today as it was during the height of the Cold War. Now let's shift our gaze to the east, to the Russian Satan II ICBM. Born from the ashes of the Cold War, the Satan II, or RS-28 Sarmat, as it is officially known, is the latest addition to Russia's nuclear arsenal. This intercontinental ballistic missile, or ICBM, is not just a replacement for the aging Voyevoda missile system. It's a step up in every way imaginable. The development of the Satan II began in the early part of this century as Russia sought to maintain parity with the United States in the strategic arms race. The project was fraught with challenges and delays, but the final result is a missile system that is as impressive as it is intimidating. The Satan II's capabilities are a testament to Russia's technological prowess. It's fast, reaching speeds of up to 7 kilometers per second. That's faster than the speed of sound, making it virtually impossible to intercept once it's in flight. And it's not just fast, it's also incredibly far-reaching. With a reported range of over 11,000 kilometers, this missile could strike a target anywhere in the United States from a launch site in Russia. Accuracy is another area where the Satan II shines. Using advanced navigation systems and multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicles, or MIRVs, it can deliver its payload with pinpoint precision. And what a payload it is. The Satan II can carry a staggering 15 thermonuclear warheads, each one capable of obliterating an entire city. But beyond its raw specs, the Satan II serves an important role in Russia's nuclear strategy. It's a deterrent, a weapon designed to keep potential adversaries at bay. Its mere existence is enough to give any country pause before considering an attack on Russian soil. A fearsome missile, the Satan II, is a clear display of Russian military power. Now that we've introduced our two contenders, let's pit them against each other, starting with their speed and range. Diving right in, the American LGM-30G Minuteman III boasts an impressive speed of approximately 15,000 miles per hour. This is a speed so immense that it could traverse the entire length of the Great Wall of China in less than a minute. 
Not to be outdone, its range stretches for an astounding 6,000 miles, which roughly equates to the distance between New York City and Beijing. In the other corner, we have the Russian Satan II. This missile doesn't just keep pace, it outstrips its American counterpart, reaching speeds of over 16,000 miles per hour. That's faster than a bullet fired from a high-powered rifle. Its range? A whopping 11,000 miles, enough to travel from Moscow to Buenos Aires and still have some miles to spare. Now, these figures aren't just for show. Speed and range are crucial in determining the effectiveness of these missiles in warfare. A greater speed means less time for the enemy to respond, while a longer range allows for a wider array of potential targets. In this respect, the Satan II seems to have an edge. However, it's important to remember that these aren't the only factors at play. There's also accuracy, payload, and a host of other considerations which we'll dive into next. As you can see, both missiles offer impressive speed and range, but there are some key differences. Speed and range are crucial, but what about accuracy and payload? Let's take a look. When we talk about accuracy in the world of intercontinental ballistic missiles, or ICBMs, we use a term called circular error probable, or CEP. It's basically a measure of how close a missile can get to its target. The lower the CEP, the more accurate the missile is. For the Minuteman III, the CEP is about 200 yards. That's about the length of two football fields. This accuracy is quite impressive, considering we're talking about a missile that's traveling over 6,000 miles. On the other hand, the Satan the second claims a CEP of just 100 yards. That's half the distance of the Minuteman III. This makes the Satan II one of the most accurate ICBMs in the world. Now let's move on to payload. Payload refers to the destructive power of the missile, usually measured in kilotons or megatons of TNT. The Minuteman III can carry a single warhead with a yield of up to 335 kilotons. That's over 20 times the power of the atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima. The Satan II, however, takes this to an entirely different level. It's reported to carry up to 16 warheads, each with a yield of up to 750 kilotons. This gives the Satan II the potential to unleash a total of 12 megatons of destructive power. That's roughly 800 times the power of the Hiroshima bomb. It's also worth noting that both missiles have the capability for multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicles or MIRVs. This means they can strike multiple targets with a single launch. With such precision and destructive power, it's clear why these missiles play a central role in their respective countries' defense strategies. So, where does this leave us in our comparison of the Minuteman III and Satan II? In the grand scheme of things, both these missiles, the United States LGM-30G Minuteman III and Russia's Satan II ICBM, showcase the pinnacle of their respective nation's military technology. They're not just weapons, but symbols of national pride and power. The Minuteman III, with its impressive speed, range and accuracy, stands as a testament to the United States' technological prowess. Its multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicle technology is a marvel of engineering, enabling it to strike multiple targets with precision. On the other side, the Satan II, with its colossal payload, demonstrates Russia's determination to maintain a strong deterrence. Its ability to evade missile defense systems makes it a formidable force on the global stage. Both these missiles, each unique in their capabilities, underline the complexities of modern warfare and the ongoing arms race. While each missile boasts its own strengths, one thing is certain, both the Minuteman III and Satan II stand as powerful symbols of their nation's military might.